exclusive Emma Raducanu's incredible US Open success could lead to a huge government investment in grassroots tennis. The Lawn Tennis Association is hoping that Emma Raducanu's incredible US Open victory will lead to a huge 20 million pounds government investment in grassroots tennis, Express Sport has been told. Interest in the sport has skyrocketed since the inexperienced 18-year-old stunned the tennis world by winning at Flushing Meadows. Raducanu did not drop a single set in New York despite starting the tournament as a qualifier. Her sensational 6-4, 6-3 win in her showdown clash with Canada's Leila Fernandez was her 10th match over a grueling three-week period. The Bromley-based star became the first British woman to win a Grand Slam since Virginia Wade lifted the Wimbledon title in 1977. Raducanu's success has prompted a boom in tennis clubs receiving membership requests. However, Express Sport has been told that a huge 40% of tennis courts on park sites are either unplayable or will be unplayable without significant investment. £8.5 million has been earmarked by the LTA to improve those sites but they need more money. Talks with the government had started before Raducanu's success and the sports UK governing body is hoping to bask in her success by requesting an extra £20 million. About 1.7 metres people pick up a racket and play tennis in parks every year, which is about 40% the number of people who play tennis. So a large volume of the people who play tennis do so in parks, Oli Skagel, the LTA's participation director, told Express Sport. What we know already is that when we make that journey from the park to the court easy and accessible for people to find, book and use a facility, then that demonstrably drives participation. We have a number of great case studies around the country where we have invested in the booking system and gate access technology.